What's going on, everyone? Before we dive into episode five, I want to thank all of you for your continued support along the way. Um, the comments, feedback, everything that we've been getting from you guys on these videos has been tremendous, and we greatly appreciate it. The support means the world, and we can't thank you enough. Also, before we dive into the episode this week, I want to announce the winner of the Wilderness Athlete Bundle Kit giveaway. That winner is Brandon Tate. Congrats, buddy. These are some awesome products that are going to be great for you while you're in camp or that midday snack or that pick-me-up that you might need while you're out hunting. Um, also, I want to announce the next giveaway for the next two weeks. It's our marsupial enclosed bino harness. These are the best bino harness packs on the market, and you guys need one of these before the fall adventures come. Um, to get entered into this giveaway, you're going to want to subscribe to the YouTube channel, leave us a comment or a question on this video or the next video. Also, there's the Instagram story challenge where you can screenshot your favorite part of this video and share it on your Instagram story while tagging us at Tall Outdoors and our partner Marsupial Gear in your Instagram story. So we thank you guys again for following along. Hope you enjoy episode five. Say something? Yeah. <laughs> All right. We are in Colorado. Got some flurries coming down. Got some snow the other day. They before we got here, got here late last night. Getting ready to go up on the trailhead. Some locals just came in, pulled in right behind us, and they're up there already. So we're getting our stuff together because we haven't even unpacked anything. We stayed in a hotel last night and we'll find a camp spot today, but Shane was in this area last year, saw a bunch of does, so hopefully with this weather kind of turning, uh, might kick in the first part of the rut starting off, so get some lip curling going, so we shall see. I haven't been here, Shane has, so let's find out if he's as good as he thinks he is today. Let's do this. Making me climb again. Every trip. I hope right here is the top. I keep saying just around the corner. So nice calm morning. No wind. Um every deer looks like great country. There's oaks, some sage, timber. So we're gonna get up top here and start picking it apart. Hopefully the clouds lift off a little bit. Visibility's not great, so we'll keep you posted. All right, we made it up top. Grail nice bowl right in here. Kind of bends around. Looks like an older bird. Maybe 10 years ago or so. It's got some nice cutouts for veins on it. Got a set up here. Glass all bit. Looks like Okay, well, I don't 
don't even know if I'll be able to pull the trigger. I'm shaking so much. <laughs> but he's out there. It's 626. Still sanding the same way with his butt to us. There was some does over there, so we don't know if he's standing there waiting for them to come to him. But he hasn't budged in the last 15 minutes. I have no shot. I need him to turn broadside. So we're just kind of waiting and shaking. <laughs> I think I'm going to try a shot at him. Did he? He's bedded. So? Uh-uh. Yeah. Is that him sticking out of the bush right there? Okay, I got him. Dude, what a shot. What a shot. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. What a shot. Holy crap. Oh my god. He didn't even move. <laughs> uh, 626. Shot. Holy <laughs> shit, dude. <laughs> dude, you are the best. <laughs> Holy shit. Dude, that was incredible. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Told you I wanted to get into long range shooting. <laughs> that was Holy crap. <laughs> <laughs> uh, opening day, opening morning. <laughs> oh my god, he's a freaking awesome pot. Holy crap. Did he even get up out of his bed? Nope, didn't even move. Look down, baby. <laughs> uh, <laughs> thank you, dude. dude oh. So awesome. Oh my. What a shot. <laughs> Thank you for finding them. <laughs> Freaking haven't even been here 24 hours. We got in late last night. I think pulled into the hotel at 11 o'clock. Knew exactly where we wanted to be. This was where I was last year and there was does everywhere. Snowing a bunch this morning and deer movement was limited. I kind of moved out on this point, glassing back into this old, old burn. Just knowing I knew there was going to be buck in there. And I catch this buck cruising across, just kind of running, looking at does, running a little bit more, freaking running over to pop some trip in these oaks, eat it, get over to him, show him the buck, kind of going back and forth. He decides he wants to shoot it. 626, cold, windy. I don't know how he freaking did it. He just dropped him in one shot. The guy's a freaking stud, stud. And he's peeing back there. I didn't even know that until right now. But we have a buck down in Colorado. <laughs>